Captain Paul from the locker room here. So this video is going to be more of a channel update, kind of go into some projects that I'm, I'm currently actually working on and kind of give you kind of a direction of this channel. Uh, first off, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that has supported the channel. I mean, reaching over 4,000 subs in pretty much less than a year because that's when I started making consistent content. It was probably for about maybe about eight months or so I've been making content, if not daily, around five days a week. Uh, the growth has been amazing, and your support has been noted. And I want to, again, say a big thank you because without you guys watching the video, supporting and commenting, this just wouldn't be as much fun as it is. This is probably the most fun, um, that, not probably, this is the most fun I've ever had on working with the project. So thank you guys again. You guys have been spectacular. Um, as for the direction of this channel, I'm working on a lot of things. And I will fully admit I have a lot of stuff going on in my own personal life when it comes to rehabbing. I've been going to the gym every, uh, well, not every day, five days out of the past week, uh, trying to get back in shape because I'm, for the first time in about a year, I've actually been able to walk. Uh, but I, I really am passionate about this channel. Uh, I love talking hockey. I could talk, I could talk hockey for hours and hours and end. And one of the problems that I've kind of had is that I've had to limit, I would say, time frame and certain videos that I do. Because I understand that with the editing style in which I'm kind of incorporating on this channel, it is kind of it is a little bit time consuming. And with all the copyright claims that I have had on these videos, the old videos, which makes sense, right? I am making commentary. I am trying to make it transformative. But the NHL does have that right to own that copyright. So a lot of the older videos that you know went pretty viral throughout the playoffs and even way before that in the post in the uh, regular season uh, are just not going to be monetizable. Which I, you know whatever, no big deal. Um, as a content creator, you kind of have to continually involve. And I've kind of you know tried different styles. I'm still going to try to incorporate clips. I'm not going to try. I'm going to be incorporating clips with in person and then with articles and graphics and things of that nature. But I'm also going to be doing more content where it's a little less heavily edited. Now that's not replacing the edited stuff. I'm still going to be doing heavily edited stuff, maybe four to five days out of the week. But I do like to be able just to sit down, be able to go in StreamYard, get a tab, or maybe even get a graphic or some type of, uh, something visually to kind of engage you and have a conversation because there's so much stuff that goes across the league. It kind of limits me when I have to keep finding clips and other things. I just want to bring out, like just talk about them as much hockey content as I possibly can. Um, as for the live shows going forward, that's going to be a weekly thing soon enough. Now, I could have been doing some of these podcasts by myself, uh, but that's just kind of boring. The reason why I like doing these podcasts is with uh, a good friend of mine, Fajardo. And he, congratulations to Fajardo. We actually said congratulations in the chat. I appreciate that. He got a promotion to a different job. So he's kind of elevating his position. And now he'll have a little bit more of a regular you know, schedule so we can have a weekly show. We can have a firm set date and time every week. Now, I don't know that time as of right now. He's starting that job, I believe, next week. Yeah, next next Monday is when he starts that new position. But I am excited to kind of have live shows and kind of interact with you guys in real time. Because it's fun responding to the comments, but it'd be even great to just have that hockey dialogue, like I said, real time. Now, another thing that I do want to mention, I really, long term, and maybe I sound foolish for this, and I'll fully admit this, I'd love to somehow make this a full-time gig. Now, I'm only 4,000 subscriber. I'm not quitting my job anytime soon when I can get cleared physically to go back to work. I'm going back to work. But a dream job for me would be able to, to cover hockey and do content creation uh, full time. You know, I've seen a lot of great hockey content creators and just great content creators in general 
be able to make that transition. And, and by doing that, I also understand I have to keep getting better and better as time goes on, level up, you know, my editing skills and things of that nature so I can keep you, the viewer, engaged. And I do have a Patreon. I do have things. I just don't like e-bagging because that's what I look at. Oh, got to subscribe every single day. Like, I need your money. I, I don't like doing that. I don't like begging. I mean, do we have super chats or super thanks on the channel? Yes. Do we have a Patreon? Yes. Uh, but I will fully admit, I, I feel... I feel awkward with that. I, I still feel very awkward with that, right? Because I I feel like if you're not if you're just doing it strictly for the monetary side of it and you're not enjoying what you're doing, um, I think people can kind of tell that. And that's why I, just, I don't want to give off that notion. I would love for this to become a full time job, uh, but I I mainly do do this because I really love. Uh, talking hockey and that's why you know uh, later today I'm actually when I get home from physical therapy I have a couple videos and maybe this is spoiling something um, for projects down the dot like down the line I have about five pages six pages written about a Henrik Lundquist video that I'll try to be doing documentary style I've been kind of meshing with it a little bit um some clips get claimed, some don't. So I'm just kind of like trying to weave in and out and do all this crazy stuff, which I'm not trying to bore you all with. But, you know, there's big projects down the line. I'm going to be bringing a lot of different uh, – I'll, I'll be diversifying the palette here on the channel. I'll be bringing a little bit simplified stuff like I've done with just me and StreamYard. I'll be doing the usual clips with edits and stuff like that that I've always done on this channel. And I want to take another step and kind of incorporate some documentary type style on the channel as well. Because while maybe that maybe that might be difficult for me, and maybe that'll be difficult for my audience to get engaged with, I think it would be a great way to challenge myself day to day and have fun with projects while I do the daily stuff, but also keep working on longer term projects that might take about a month. Maybe it takes a month, maybe it takes a few weeks to make, but hopefully the end product definitely justifies the means. But yeah, I'm just giving a little bit of an update to the channel. I, I want to say again, thank you so much for the support. It, it does mean a lot. Uh, 4,000 subscribers. It, it, I, I don't take that lightly. That's a pretty damn big size. Uh, my podcast channel, Talking Shit Podcast, it took us to get to 2000. It took us a long, long time. It took us a few years. And back when I made Call of Duty videos, when it, it took me quite a while to get to a few thousand subscribers as well. Um, I really want to make sure that I don't take that for granted. Because while some videos right now, due to the summer, will only get a few hundred views, that's still a few hundred people watching your video. I don't take that for granted. And I try to respond to each and every individual. Some videos will hit, like that San Jose video, which I was kind of surprised. That's over 5,000. Uh, a few other videos hit over 1,000, a couple thousand within the past few weeks. But to me, regardless, I want to bring you the best content I possibly can. And while I'm definitely going to be going through some lean times throughout the summer, you can still expect around five to seven videos a week from this channel. And yeah, thank you guys again, man. I really do appreciate it. Don't want to bury that at a point home, but everything comes in perspective. It really does. Uh, you guys have been fantastic. And when you comment and say all these nice things and the compliments and even some of the criticisms, I don't take them in negative light. I like having that dialogue because I think it makes, it makes for fun conversation. It also helps me become a better content creator, but I love, uh, love to say, and I love to say just a big shout out to everyone that's supported. Big shout out to my co-host, Fajardo. Even a big shout out to my co-host on the podcast channel. And if you haven't uh, checked that, you know, check that out down below in the description. Uh, we're at 22, 21, 2400. I forget how many subscribers are on that channel. But, uh, you know, I appreciate it. All the support. And, yeah, I'm going to go get ready for physical therapy. First session for the work hardening program. And, uh Hopefully it goes well because I got stung by damn 15. I, I stepped on a hornet's nest, yellow jackets, and my legs and my ass got bit up a bit. So uh, I'm not feeling that great today, but hopefully we'll power through. I'll see you guys in the next one.